I'm thinking. Welcome to another session of Think About It. I'm excited about talking about something that um, can be very problematic for Christians. We're going to talk about regrets. Regrets. How do you handle, as a child of God, how do you handle your regrets, your failures, your disappointments? How do you, how do you handle them? How do you process them? Um, it's said that regret is sorrow or remorse over something that has happened or that we have done. Regret can also be a sense of disappointment over what has not happened, such as time wasted or years wasted or something you didn't do. What I am concerned about is as a child of God, how do you process it? Do you let it weigh you down? Do you let your regrets and your failures of the past weigh you down? Do your regrets rob you of current joy? Do your regrets constantly make you live in the past as you're reminded of your failures or your shortcomings? Because the truth of the matter is, if we repent unto God and he forgives us, you can rid yourself of the burden of the mistakes that you've made in the past. What a lot of people don't realize is that all regrets are not sin. All failures are not sin. If you buy a particular brand of automobile, but you regret you bought it because of all the trouble that you had out of the car, that's not a, a sin as much as it was maybe a foolish choice. And, and we need to be able to make those distinctions. As human beings, we're constantly making mistakes. We're constantly um, overwhelmed by our shortcomings and our failures. So we look back and we have regrets. Now, there are some regrets that are sins that have consequences and that can have dreadful consequences. But then there are other decisions we simply make that are not sinful, but we do regret them. And the problem is, is that so many Christians put on this aura of martyrdom, like they're always constantly hurt and broken over what they've done wrong in the past. How about being forgiven and freed of that? Too many Christians, we live in the past and concentrate on, on our failures. If God has forgiven you for those failures, there may be consequences from that decision, but there's no reason for you to be guilt-ridden. We've all made mistakes. We've all done things that we regret, but that will hold you in the past for the rest of your life if you allow that to happen. So, if we go to God and we repent of those failures and ask him to forgive us, Re remember now, you could have a simple regret that has tremendous consequences. You can have a foolish decision that you regret that God can still allow good to come out of it. And even though it costs you and caused you consternation and a problem, God can take that and, and, and develop a lot of good out of it. Sin has more detrimental consequences but at least it can still be forgiven to where you're not carrying that burden. Some people literally carry their pain as this badge of honor. And they believe, if, if I don't remain sad for the rest of my life, then I'm not showing that I'm really sincere. That's unbiblical. That's not a burden you have to carry. God says, I'll throw your sins into the sea of forgetfulness. I'm done with it. I've forgiven you. It's over. You need to let it go. How do you process your regrets? How do you process your failures? Do you bask in the forgiveness of a sovereign God 
Or do you take it upon yourself to be saddled with the guilt of your failures, your shortcomings, and your regrets? Don't you think it's worth going to God, repentant of what you've done, and ask for forgiveness and be rid of the burden? It's up to you. So I suggest you think about it.